The Egyptians needed some way to record the results of their calculations. Amongst all the hieroglyphs that cover the tourist souvenirs scattered around the city of Cairo, I was on the hunt for those that recorded some of the first numbers in history. They were difficult to track down. But I did find them in the end. The Egyptians were using a decimal system, motivated by the ten fingers on our hands. The sign for one was a stroke, ten a heel bone, a hundred a coil of rope, and a thousand a lotus plant. Yeah, how much is this T-shirt? Uh, 25. 25. Yes. So that would be two knee bones and five strokes. Yes. So you're not going to charge me anything up here? Yeah, here, one million. One million? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Is this one million? One million. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty big. The hieroglyphs are beautiful, but the Egyptian number system was fundamentally flawed. They had no concept of a place value. So one stroke could only represent one unit, not a hundred or a thousand. Although you can write a million with just one character, rather than the seven that we use, if you want to write a million minus one, then the poor old Egyptian scribe has got to write nine strokes, nine heel bones, nine coils of rope, and so on. A total of 54 characters. Despite the drawback of this number system, the Egyptians were brilliant problem solvers.